<laughs> Robin. Robin Lake outside the studio, Anthony. Robin. Robin. Let's get him in here. He's got to leave in like eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, on Broadway now. A big Broadway star now, right? There he is. Absolutely, yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Robin Hello, Lake. Obi. Hello, Anthony. It's Hello, wonderful to have name. you here, Robin. Thank you. Music. Here we are atop WNEW FM 102.7, <laughs> sat atop a presidential penthouse overlooking the skyline of Manhattan, made by the spread and labor of peasants from across the world, <laughs> all making tons of money here in the business called entertainment. <laughs> Very good. I I hated that show. Yeah, that was that was a show. Well, that's because we never came to your house and looking exactly. at you now we would never will. Exactly. Oh, it was like lifestyle though. Like the, the hobbles. Oh, look at all the things. Hobbles all, of all the never of the have. twisted and demented. Lifestyles of the torn and broken down. Lifestyles of the uh, the broke. Yeah, yeah. Hobbles of the broke. You see, people every everybody thinks that there's tons of money to be made in in uh, radio. Yeah. Mm. But I know there is none. See, you're because right. I'm there. Getting paid Zippo for this starring <laughs> appearance, for which I was kept 25 minutes late waiting. Look at Opie's furniture, costing in the tens of dollars. <laughs> I'm so rich, I have people wait for me. <laughs> You're on Broadway now, Take huh? back control of your show, guys. Yes, yes. No. We, oh, we've got it. We, we have it. Uh, so you're on Broadway now, Robin? Yes. Doing well. I opened last night in the uh, Rocky Horror Show <laughs> oh, wow. at the uh, Circle in the Square Theater on West 50th, just a little west of Broadway. And who are you, Frankie? No, I, I'm not the mad scientist who makes the young boy for his own pleasure. No, you riff riff? But, uh, what's that? <laughs> riff -raff. Riff -raff. No, I'm not Riff Raff because I can't Doing sing the time like Sebastian warp. Bach. <laughs> no, I, they made me dance the Time Warp last Did night. They? they made me sing. I only missed one musical cue. What were you, what were you singing? Um, there are songs that the narrator sings. You know, I stepped narrator. into the shoes of Dick Cabot you, on uh, Broadway. Dick Cabot? Yes. Oh, he's, uh, he's gone away for ten weeks. Yeah. And uh, I'm the first replacement. And then Gilbert Gottfried is the next replacement. Gilbert me. is the... <laughs> and then Jerry Springer is coming in. Oh, you're and then in a oh classic, my God. In a classic ultimate piece of casting, yeah. Penn and Teller. One of them Penn doesn't talk. Right. So how he can narrate is beyond me. Well, he can't be a narrator <laughs> or, or narrator. <laughs> narrator. <laughs> narrator. I like narrator. that. Narrator. So we, English. We saw you um, two years ago. Yes, where I was I? You blew us off, Robin. Yes, you did. You who the hell knew who you were? You <laughs> <Well>. see? <laughs> Take you out of these studios and nobody knows who exactly. you are. Exactly. Well, we were broadcasting live from the Sexpo at the Javits Center. You remember that? Oh, yeah. There was some... <laughs> yeah. I wandered in there on a weird Friday afternoon. <laughs> you had a bag full of goodies. No, no, no. I didn't have... <laughs> I had a good... <laughs> I had a goodie full of bags. <laughs> Dildos and butt plugs for everyone. Free now. <laughs> Made by the hands of peasants from Pakistan. <laughs> and you wonder why they're pissed at us. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of time when he's <laughs> we were live in front of uh, a couple thousand people screaming. And you yeah. begged me. You yeah. begged me. You, we you were yelling. Remember? You remember? You yelled, right? and I think I waved to you, didn't <laughs> yeah, I? You did. You, you did. waved yeah. the one finger salute. <laughs> Robin, please come here. What I did you buy? Begging. And, and you just flipped us the bird and walked away. But it gave us uh, uh, something to talk See, about. People don't actually think that I behave rudely like that. You really? Think? We joke about it. Yeah. Yeah. You were incognito. You had the glasses on, the the, the shade, and the, the hat yes, down over his still, face, and we we recognized you well because yeah. i think it's the image you got because of the lifestyles of the rich and famous show and right. stuff that everybody uh, perceives you as this you know kind of stuffy uh, I fellow d don't think so young man no i think they do they know but that you're a brits down earth kind of guy the brits are a rather wild raucous group of people you know? oh really oh yeah <laughs> oh, really? oh, remember <laughs> remember what prince charles wanted to come back as what he uh, wanted a to tampon inside uh -oh, the uh -oh. body of his loved one That's right, right. Boy, he, and he's a wild And one. he was honest about it. Isn't he a wild, crazy kind of guy? <laughs> I think he I, is. I don't think so. Scenes, <laughs> no? <laughs> Mr. Leach, how many years did that show run? Uh, which show? I've been involved in so many. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous is the one I remember a, Just finally. a test <laughs> to a youngster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous ran for 14 years. Before that, Stop I started it. Entertainment
moment and I was ran for, well, it's still on the air after 20 years, but um, I was with it for the first three years. I wrote the pilot of Entertainment Tonight. Wow. 14 years of lifestyle. 14 of years, yes. And, and uh, it's still seen today in some 30 countries around the world. Yeah, but I know. It's, it's making people not, pissed off all over the world. Not in Taliban land. No, no. <laughs> they don't appreciate the finer things of it. Screw them. Look at them. Who uh, you know, now bearded monsters. You, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the women. No wonder they wear those burkas. <laughs> you, you can't tell me everybody was uh, uh, like some of those things weren't set up a little life. No set up. Rich and famous. No set ups. Really, no, like that was all real. Everything you saw was. The, you walked honest in, and, and that's exactly how they lived their lives and everything. Bloody a. Because I, I, it always looked a little too clean. I was pictured, you know, well, they've got to leave some they stuff clean laying around. House a little rich bit they rich come people over, right? always keep their houses clean. Do they? And if they dirty them up, they buy a new one. You buy a new one. Buy a new house. God, it must be nice. nice. Hey, we have, we have a young lady that, that wants to talk and... to Robin Leach. Please don't play that music when the two lunk young ladies that are outside come in here. <laughs> okay. Because that music doesn't match what they do for a living, That's but it right. does match me. That's right. Tanya. Yeah, what's up, baby? You remember me? What? Hello? Tanya. Hey, what's up, baby? Are you uh, are you putting on a fake voice? We don't Stop, like... baby. Yeah, that sounds like a fake. Are you a fully Stop, functional pre-op? What's baby, up? What's up, I'm Tanya? out now. What's I'm up? I'm out. I'm working in CI. I'm driving a cab. Wait, you're you're uh what? You were in prison for a while? I was in for a little bit, and I you know I just driving because I listen to you guys when I drive in the cab. I heard Robin Leach. I said, "Oh my lord!" I said, "I have got to talk to that man." Say hallelujah, sister. <laughs> Let me hear what's on your mind, and we'll have a little healing oh, here. Boy. Let me tell you, I just want to say I, I didn't even. I, I tell you, when I heard your voice, I didn't even know you were still alive. I was like, when I heard, I said, "Oh my God!" I sister, said, you were man. doing very well up I until said, that moment, yeah. and I you said, just are about alive. to crash. I said, oh, Thank yeah. you, thank so, you, uh, Tanya. Uh, he, he looks great. He, he yeah. Looks yeah like he... Let me just say, let me just yeah, say, yeah. Robin, Robin, if you ever want to be with a woman of color, let me tell you, these legs are. What makes I you think I open. haven't? Yeah, yeah, right. For you, baby. Well, that's something say, about Robin. I gotta say that you always see pictures of him with some fine ladies on his arm all the time. And in some of the uh, rag magazines there, like the Star and the Inquirer and whatnot, there's always stories about your sexual exploits. Just a cover-up for my real bent. What was Is that it? What's your real bent there, Robin? <laughs> no idea. What was the one we uh, talked about on the show? With chocolate or something? Oh, yeah, it was some... Uh, oh, yes. Something it was grossly... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that another, one. <laughs> another grossly exaggerated story. It was like some young blonde chicks and uh, Robin They said was... there were nine of them. Right. Nine naked women that walked with me into a casino. And, and you were pouring it's chocolate so, on women? Yes, it's yeah. so preposterous that that could have happened. It, is you'd have been arrested the, the second that you walked into a casino. I would have admitted it. Come on. I know, but always stories about how never you're out. Never admit anything. On the prowl. I'll keep them guessing. No, no, no. I never go out on the prowl. No? no. Are you a married man or you're in a relationship no, I'm not or married. something? No, I'm not married. I'm gay I was guy? married. Gay guy? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Although this week in the Rocky Horror Show, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. at <laughs> Transvestite I, headquarters I a, of Circle in the Square, Square on West 50th Street. Please call Tyler Charger for tickets. Oh. Even now available at this late hour. Nice plug. I have to take this phone call. Why? <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Hold on. Tony, keep it clean for the radio. What do you have for Robin Leeds? <laughs> no, I, I worked with, um, I, I used to be a teacher for the New York City Board of Ed. Yeah. 15 years ago. I worked with a woman there. I won't tell you her name, I'll give you her initials, who told me she went out with Robin Leach. Oh. And that he was packing the mule. Wow. <laughs> oh, Robin packing the mule? Nice. What, yes. that, what does that actually mean? I mean, I'm just a, an Englishman that doesn't take advantage of this. Uh, Is there I, another expression that you could use? I think it means that you're uh, well endowed. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Let's still admit that What's one. What's the correlation between packing a mule? <laughs> well, I... Uh, you you gotta travel, over, travel over long mountainous distances. Uh, right, exactly. It's just a better way to transport stuff, your mule. Yeah. No, it's just a clean way to describe that area uh, without uh, fear of being bleeped or anything like that. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't... Heavy, I don't know black pendulous. <laughs> there you go. You could say that, too. Heavy, yeah. black... Anyway, I'm black very glad that... What were the girls' initials, and do you still have a number and is she still out yeah, there? I don't have a number. No, I probably haven't seen her in 10 years. Her initials at the time were E-R. Elizabeth e Rex. Just like no. the Queen of England. <laughs> no, no, no. Her first name was a very biblical name. It was the first woman. Uh, Esther, Esther, Esther. Oh, Eve. 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 All right, Tony. 
Tony, right. Tony, you. if you see her, tell her I love her. Uh, you got it. <laughs> with, with sincerity. <laughs> Robin Packin down there for some reason. Let's go to Frank, who has it. It's nice to get those unsolicited testimonials. Oh, yeah, huh? I figured I'd help you out there. Frank, what's up? Hey there, Mr. Leach. How are you today? I used to love you on uh, Mr. Belvedere. I wonder if you ever <laughs> shook that funky Brewster that was on there. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot. I was never on Mr. Belvedere. Yeah, English guy. Go, you know, yeah, when well, that was Christopher Hewitt. Go get your eyes adjusted. <laughs> but I do love you. <laughs> I gotta go and hear myself on the radio. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Don't insult Mr. Lee. Is this the level, of, the level of your audience yeah. in the afternoon? We that was high end. The guys just off Wall Street. They call you. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. What are those girls doing by the window? They're doing the prison I visit. They keep flashing. I saw them doing the prison visit through the see, glass. you'll lose interest with quality and class like me. No. And you'll just go to no. the to the derelicts behind me. Well, it, the derelicts make great radio, Robin. I they actually uh, yeah. enjoyed you See, in radio, Family Affair. Radio is uh, <laughs> radio is oral. What was that? Rudy? I like. No, I said I enjoyed you in Family Affair, that TV show. Mr. French. Mr. French. <laughs> what? Remember Mr. French and Family Affair? Two shows in my entire life. Was... Entertainment Tonight, Lifestyles of Rich and Fame. Well, we did Fame, Fortune, and Romance. We did, we had, we did over 300 hours of television. Wow. Well, we're 300. Still, we're still making it. We still do these specials four times a year. I see those. Yeah, of course. Yeah, recognized all over the world? All over the world. Yeah. E even, I haven't been to, I haven't been to Taliban land. But <laughs> no. No, I've you been better to... stay away from that. Uh, Eric, what's up? Uh, Robin. Yes, Eric. Uh, we have a mutual friend. Oh, not another woman. Uh, yeah, no, no, yes, it is. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, w without mentioning a name. Who she's haven't a, I reached? She's, she's a, tw she's a what twin. What is left? She's a twin from Texas. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Crystal. Yes, my, uh, yeah, Crystal. Oh, is she a dog? Robin. Wow. <laughs> he gives me the wig like, yeah. This guy is I nailed too her. much. <laughs> is and notice he said Texas. Is Crystal yeah. a Texas. doll or what? Uh, uh, but I don't. I don't know them. They're twin Virgos. Uh, uh, yeah, you do know. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know them. Right. <laughs> Wins. And what Look does this uh, lady say I'm about wait, Robin? I'm waiting for uh, Harry to she, call yeah, up and actually, ask me about the uh, triplets. Actually, you had triplets. Yes. At Robin and a grandmother, a mother and a daughter. All right, hold on, Robin. Robin, real quick. Yes, Eric. Ask the question, Eric. You pain Robin, in the real, neck. real quickly. Crystal says uh, Crystal thinks the world of you. She uh, says she's a I, wonderful person. She's I think a friend of mine. I heard you on the I, air, and I, I just wanted to I say hi. I think the world of her too. So Everything's please. bigger in Texas, even my mule. <laughs> There's no way you had triplets down there. They think of me as a man with a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have triplets? Triplets and a mother, a uh, daughter, uh, grandma, grandmother, grandma, team. mother, and daughter. How is that? How do you how do you put that together? Mother, daughter, and grandmother. All for me, the well-hung Robin Leach. <laughs> Here in the family mausoleum. <laughs> Here in this spacious bedroom, I bang them all. <laughs> now they bang me. Oh, really? Climb aboard the huge mule. <laughs> I'm English. Of Robin Leach. We don't do the work in England. We pay people to do the work. <laughs> you just... As I lay back and let them service me. <laughs> Bring me more champagne. And caviar. And suck the mule. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's something. I've never heard of uh, anyone getting that before. And it's Robin Leach. Who knew? Which is why you must come this week to yes. the Rocky Horror Show. Oh, yeah, ah, the Rocky Horror thing. Because part of that madness and insanity does transcend to the stage of the fine Shakespearean I, playhouse. I don't doubt it. And uh, I actually am I'm going to go. This, uh, week you will come? check you out, yeah. We'll make yeah. sure well, you we'll get go. a ticket. Sure, we'll go. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and check that out. Were you a fan of the the movie? Yes, uh, you know it was originally uh, before it was a movie. It was originally a musical in yes, London. Yes, in London. Written in a peak of fit of anger thirty odd years ago. Yeah, by a man who got a reject slip for another play that he wrote. Of course, it was uh, and cast all the evil people in his life into the Rocky Horror Show. Of course, it was started and, uh, in uh, London. Oh, that's and, a and fag, and uh, fag, uh, city. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> Rick. He's making fun of your uh, city there. What's the largest <laughs> selling chocolate in Pennsylvania, you fool? Big chocolate. Hershey. Very good. Anyway. <laughs> Highway, anyone? Anyway. Um, anyway, it, it, sort, of, mind, it sort of it failed as a, as a uh, right. musical in London, and then it was taken over as a uh, cult picture. Did it do still, well in uh, the movie still, when it first came out? Well, no, but look at it. It I, it's a cult to the movie. careers of Susan Saran and Barry Boswick, and uh, still plays at the East 8th Street Playhouse here 
here in Manhattan so every Randy. Friday and Saturday night. I went to that one day. And uh, now, a year and a half ago, they revived it as a musical on Broadway. And mm -hmm. here I am stepping into the shoes of Big Dick. Now, who else do we have? <laughs> who else do we have uh, in, in, <laughs> in the cast right now? You said Sebastian Bach. And uh, we have um, Terrence. Yeah. And we have Sebastian. Oh, I said Sebastian Bach. Yeah, that's great. He's got a great voice. Opie saw him in and, uh, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Ter Terrence Mann, who, who is, uh, plays Frankenfurt uh, here yeah. on Broadway, has one of the most exquisite voices and exactly looks like Tim Curry's yeah. younger son. Oh, really? Extraordinary. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Hmm. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Nice legs. <laughs> and yeah. the Better than my sixth wife. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you been married, Ron? Once. Oh, just once? Yeah, yeah. And then what happened there? You just. Because now you get an old girl. Did you get famous and toss her to the wayside? No, 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 no. Don't tell me something depressing like she died or something. No, 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 no. Okay. Although there were nights when I felt she had. But I'll give you that one. I wanted mothers, daughters, and grandmothers. You, you guys would believe any story that you're told. Sitting you know here. something? You don't, don't get out. ever tell you, us that's a lie. You la, don't. la, 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 I am not listening you to don't you. Get out very I often, want to do you? believe that Robin Leach actually did that. La, la, la. He definitely did the grandma, the mom, and the daughter. You know why? Because if you got it, then it gives all of us hope that maybe someday we can uh, actually do that. That's right. Also, Robin. I, I, uh, actually, I actually did get married to twins once. <laughs> you in, a, in a mock ceremony at a hotel in California. Really? Yes. This, How'd that work out for well, you? Well, it was, it was just a fun thing to, to see if we could pull off. What the hell? Was it hard to drive home with both hands hanging out the no, window? No, we stayed the night. Joe <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <I have laughs> drivers. Joe the mailman, <laughs> what's up? Does. Joe. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. You guys you guys rule, man. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Joe, are anyway, you coming to see uh, Rocky Horror? I'll be there. I'll be there, man. You, you better I'm, be. I'm, I gotta be, because I'm a big fan of you, especially when you were on the Jeffersons back in the day. <laughs> like, in the beginning credits, when you're walking up and down George's back, you were awesome, man. <laughs> the Jeffersons. Listen, smartass, I'll do the humor around this joint. Well, he's a little confused, right? That was a different guy. That, that was, was a different hard. era. What's his name? Paul, uh... Robeson. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dennis, what's up? Hey. Hey. Robin, can you do the Knight Rider voice for me? <laughs> Hi, I'm David Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need the guy in the car. Yeah, right. Michael, I need you. Michael, I need you. <laughs> hey, guys, you guys suck. Thank you, I'm gonna man. Go with the, I'm going to go with the Ron and Fest from last night. All right, good. <laughs> Bye. Do, the, do they get actually excited that they can say that on radio? Oh, yeah. Do they, they, yeah, they, they do. They, they think they've wild. made a wild contribution to the success of the yeah. rebuilding of New York with that. Story. Absolutely. They're very proud and very happy to uh, be here with us. Pat, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. I saw uh, Robin after a Nick game across the street of the parking garage about five, six years ago. Yeah. And he's with this smoking blonde. <laughs> so I was just wondering, uh, how's your granddaughter doing today? <laughs> yeah. Back to you, Rusty. You were the smoking blonde there, uh? That's good. These guys are living, living the life. They're so jealous. They're so yeah. jealous. They're yeah. happy for you, Robin. I'm pleased. <laughs> when in your yes, life... Yes, and she was smoking. Were you able to start Which scoring was... the younger uh, hot girls? When did that happen for you? It's always been... Was like that always like yeah. that? Yeah. You know, because guys, are, you know, uh, you, 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 look, you look great. Look, here is the, here you know, is the guys secret. of your age, you aren't look, normally with the... Let's ask ourselves some basic questions. Yes. How the hell did David Copperfield wind up with Claudia Schiffer? A beard. Now let's, now beard. Let's, it was a beard. No, you're wrong. What? See, because I know all the intimacy he does. of the stars. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. The most gorgeous girls in the world... Gorgeous girls! <laughs> that is are, no girl. ...are left unattended <laughs> by really? the guys. Because most of you guys are scared stiff that you're going to be rejected. Result being, most beautiful women sit home alone or go out together. You know what Robin's saying right and here? He eats the peach. He yep. gives attention to and that area knot. and the balloon knot. He'll flip them over, right? Yep. You, you know what the balloon knot is, Robin? You no, like the dirty obviously, obviously something to do with mules and donkeys. It's the, <laughs> it's the uh, American phrase for uh, the uh, back door uh, uh, area. You really? Because if, if you tie a balloon in a knot, you blow it up and tie it in a knot, oh, and look like right that, into it. It's like that thing on the internet where you have to guess the peach from all of the others. Well, th but if, if you tie a balloon in a knot after you blow it up and look right into where you blew it up, it's that puckering area. Sweetheart, I have no area. time in Sweetheart. my life to tie up... Um, <laughs> well, love. I have no time to tie up <laughs> hey, balloons. Dear. 
All right, sweetie pie. To look like a tush. Well, it would look like that, so we call it a balloon knot. Really? You, it sounds to me like uh, you're would saying you say, to be attentive to these say, women. Would you say to a beautiful woman, Darl yes. darling, let me just <laughs> give you a little champagne, and by the way, may I compliment you on your balloon knot? <laughs> yeah. you, you've died. Right. At that moment, I'll give at you that. that moment. Every... Although with an English accent, it sounds feasible to me. No, the you thing is, you're supposed to note. say, shh, don't yell, and this will be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beth, you're next with Robin Leach. Hi. Hi. How Beth. are you guys today? <laughs> Good. Well, I just had a question. You guys were talking about uh, Robin being hung like a mule. Yeah. But every time you I did not picture, say that. <laughs> well, it's being said. So uh, my question is sort of a challenge. And in every National Enquirer picture you see, you're in a Speedo. And if you were ah. hung like a mule, that's where it'd show. But I'm not seeing it. But you have to remember what a flat photo looks like. Yeah. Um, oh, see, it's not three-dimensional. Oh, but you. still, they catch you at all those odd shots in it. Yeah, what are you doing in the Speedos exactly. anyway on those uh, European beaches and whatnot? There was one shot, yeah. one Speedo. Um, Why were you in a Speedo? <laughs> <laughs> common sense. Because dictates. even idiots make mistakes on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> because we didn't know that the National Enquirer was sneaking in the bushes With behind the telephoto lenses. <laughs> And that's the other reason why it doesn't look as if there's any prize money in the kitty tonight. Because <laughs> at 300 feet on a long tom lens, everything vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe the water was cold at the beach that day and you had some shrinkage. Uh, <laughs> well, that happens. That happens. All right, uh, Take care. Bye. Thank you very much for your intellectual question. Yes. And now who's next? <laughs> Stupid American bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the form continues in just a moment with the Brains Trust. <laughs> Listen, you guys, i got to go to a stage. Oh, uh, yeah. no, it's yes. fun. I know you were. Uh. Play the music again. I'll stay for 60 seconds. <laughs> we thought you really liked us and stuff. No, no, no. It was just a way to get cheap publicity at Rush Hour. <laughs> of course. You know, God bless you, man. <laughs> Robin, right. uh, thank you. How thank long, you. How long are you going to be with Robin? I'm uh, Rocky Horror through Sunday night. Through Sunday night. Yeah, you Catch got, Robin you Leach. Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon afternoon and then every evening mm -hmm. in the evening well mike wants to say something real fast mike go ahead mike hey guys how you doing all right i just wanted to compliment you the first people in human history to ever make robin leach sound cool and you sound like you rock Every time I saw you in Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous, I hated you. This is the first time I take it all back. You're cool. Hey, there well, you go. there you go. Cool at 60. That's nice. a compliment. Thank you very much. No problem. All Thank right. you, sir. All no, right. you know, when we, when we did that show, we had to convey this sort of stiff upper lip. Right. You know, it, it, it was done deliberately. And, and You're presenting palaces. What, what you see uh, is me now. This mm -hmm. is me. I have a good time. I, yeah. I rock. All the time. <laughs> I don't I, doubt it. I actually rock all the time, which is why you got to come see Rocky Horror. But when I was doing that television show, we had to have this air of somber and we're and better and than you. No, no, no. It wasn't. <laughs> I was only the That's how I felt. I was that. only the reporter. I was only the guy describing everything. I swear to you, when I was watching my voice. when I was watching that show, he's going through these marble floors and beautiful. Big vaulted ceilings I, and furniture. I'm, I was watching that show sitting on a couch with duct tape on my armrest, going, "This sucks, man." Yeah, but this sucks. you were still curious, you see. And you, you know didn't what the saddest part? Turn it off and That was last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the you saddest ever, part of the whole thing. You ever get resentful at the money that you were kind of pointing out, like just want to take a dump in the closet? No, or just <laughs> no, no. no. Because, uh, because I have it too. Because everybody in America wants to be Horatio Alger. You see, you come to work for WNEW. You don't want to labor here for the rest of your lives. You want to strive higher. You want to move yeah. up the ladder, television, movies, and make more money. <laughs> you don't want to make less money, do you? That's right. This is the American dream. Wow. This is the only country in the world where you can better yourselves he's and not go downhill. He's pulling a Tony Robbins on us. Uh, I'm feeling inspired. He's scaring me. Man has more teeth in his mouth than a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we we oh. got to let Robin Leach go. Robin, thank you. We so see you. Much. Take care. Robin Leach. Uh oh, he's coming around the console. Oh, okay. Shaking hands. Anthony, we'll be back, all right? Robin, champagne wishes and caviar dreams. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Robin Leach rocks, and we'll be back. <laughs> Oh, ah, 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 ah,
Gregorio! Antonio! Amy!